Hi, good morning everyone. How's everybody? Trying to fix my tray. Hi, good morning. How how's everybody? Oh god, I've done something to my tray. Oh well, it's my makeup tray. I'll fix it later. Okay, today we're doing some exciting, something different. We're gonna do some fruits and some um, nightscape. So um, it's like a night scene. Okay, we'll see. Um, how we get on with it. All right um, So Today we're gonna need Like about three pieces of paper. So if you have a limited amount of paper today, just um, arrange them in a clever way and then you can um, You know use it smartly, but um, From my experience painting on the other side doesn't really work if you don't know if um you know unless you really really hated that side that you already done and then you can paint that and then you can just like cancel the back okay but usually papers got the right side and wrong side um, you have to google up how you figure it out I have no clue okay um, or I had a clue and then I forgot about it good morning everybody hi thank you for joining me um, hi Abby um, how did you get on with the primroses um, this morning we're gonna do um, nightscape so it's like a night scene and um, and a bit of fruits so we'll see okay right bye okay Bee. voila okay so we need our first piece of paper I'm not doing any drawing so first of all um, actually, I'll show you. <laughs> so you can have, we're gonna paint the background first and then the forefront of our paint will be black or darker color of any tone that you wish to have, okay? So it's gonna be like that one. Whee! Zoom in. Whee! Okay. Um, so you can have like mountains and um, trees or you can have houses, okay? Um, but we're gonna do two of them. One would be landscape and one would be portrait okay and um, we would like to paint the background today and then we can come in and do the details tomorrow okay so let's do um, this one I'm gonna do like a, um, a field of some kind like nature okay so we're gonna go in with quite a big brush and paint a invisible oblong shape. Off you go. Um, or you can have like slightly dirty brush like me. <laughs> um, I have seen a few people using like a baby sponge and they just wet the whole page with baby sponge that way. I was gonna do that and um, I wasn't prepared enough. I didn't bring a sponge. You can use kitchen sponge all sorts, okay? But not the used one. We don't want any germs all over the place, guys. And um, I quite like mine um, weird edges. Again, if you like yours nice and neat, you can um, pin your page down with some um, masking tape, okay? But I think my paper is going to curl, so I might do a little bit of masking taping on either side just to keep it down, not to make it neat. I hate it because sometimes I'm impatient and I tear um, the page <laughs> down as well when I remove the, uh, my tacky tape. Hay fever is terrible, guys. Yesterday, one of my friends recommended when I went for a walk to put um, Vaseline inside the nostril wow i didn't realize um that really really helped me last night for not suffering too badly but this morning um one of my 
um, outside bedroom window was open, flung open itself because I didn't put it on the latch properly. So the whole night worth of um, pollen is in my house right now. Sorry about the sniffly. And my eyes are so itchy. Okay, so um, my paper is nice and wet, but not overly wet. You don't want pa um, water to pull it all over the place, okay? Um, so it needs to be wet, but not super shiny or no puddles, okay? So um, this one, I'm going to make like a, um, a nightscape of some kind of feel. So um, I'm going to paint. Make sure it's not too dark, okay? Because we're going to have to um, do this um, in layers, okay? And the front of the background is going to be the darkest color. Okay, I'm going to lay down um, my moon first. You can have like right in the center or anywhere you want, okay? But today I'm going to do center. Okay? Just roughly. It's not going to be like a... Um, it's not going to be exact, okay? And then you go in with your color. You can have purple night or whatever. I'm going to go for blue because I love blue. I'm probably going to go blue and purple as well. So this is wet on wet. Use plenty of paint, okay? And again, don't forget that um, the paint will go darker, I mean lighter when dry, okay? And just go in and do a little blending like that. Leave it there for one second. I'm going to go in with purple as well, just to give it a bit of a definition. Okay. Um, and then... Keep going and you can go a bit darker at the bottom here, okay? And you go in like so. I think my moon's a bit too big, so I'm going to blend it in a little bit. And I don't want it to be um, perfect circle, okay? I want it to be blended out. And I'm going in and add more... Um, darker color on the top slightly now not a lot don't want it to be too um, dark again okay and you might be able to go a bit of green at the bottom here if you want to just gonna add a bit of texture and patterns now okay so that's really nice. I think I like it. I think. How can you tell if you like it or not like it? <laughs> Gonna add a bit more darker color here. Purple's a bit too bright for me. Okay. This color is called indigo. It's my new favorite. Okay. Like so. How are we doing? Hi guys. Thank you for joining me today. Um, we are doing night scene. Okay. Just going to ease out those pulling paint a little bit. Although it's not necessary. But it means that I must have um, put so much paint, water or something along there. Okay. So we need to leave that to dry a little bit. Yeah, it's my oven going off. <laughs> but I have my little helper today. Um, my little one, Milton, he's going to um, take out the sour door. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Just gonna leave this to dry a little bit this is the only thing that we um we have to think about with the timing i don't know how long 
this is gonna take to dry. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna fan it. Fan it, everybody, fan it. Fan it now. Hi, Glyn. How are you? Because um, when dry, you can see the real pigment actually, um, how, how it's gonna settle. Um, okay, that's probably a bit too much paint if it started to pull around on the edges. But I want that pigment, so I'm gonna ease it out a little bit into the center. Please talk to me. Hi Katie, how are you? We're just doing some night scene in watercolor. I'm just trying to rush it through, but I don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> we're gonna, this is like, we're just watching the paint dry, guys. I've got something to show you while we're waiting. At one of the makeup fair, um, I got one of these. Look how cute is this? I don't know if it's gonna work um, in a real, you know, situation yet. But who cares? It's the cutest thing ever, ever, ever. So lovely. Looks well proper. <laughs> and I don't know why I have this in my makeup drawer, but it's fantastic. Um, have you seen one of these? Oh, I remember. It's a garlic soap. Have you heard of a garlic soap? Basically, um, because you know garlic just go into the pores of your skin. And what you do was, you just use this with plain water. And then you clean your hand underneath the tap, like so. Um, and it really, really works. I bought it for a couple of pounds from a kitchen shop somewhere. It was fantastic. But um, another purpose for this one for me is I use it to massage my shoulder. Put a bit of a coconut oil and then you can knead into the certain areas like this, look. Um, like that. Oh. <laughs> it's fantastic. You can kind of like push it in and work it in where, you know, you can feel it, where it's working. You can go on your... Um, arms like that it's really really good so it's like that's why I keep it in my makeup box now it's no longer um, garlic soap <laughs> okay I think that's settled down a bit now oh, it's not quite let's see how how it behave if I put in another layer so the next layer I'm going to go in with a bit more pigment now um, not as wishy-washy and I'm going to paint in the direction of the plants I'm gonna do. Actually, I'm gonna show you on um, a blank piece of paper first. What I'm talking about, right? So, this is my night scene. So this is my moon. You can have like um, fields coming up if you want to, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a tree like a birch tree type of thing. Okay, just silhouette in black coming through. And then round here will be leaves coming down, okay? So just like that, coming through the front of it as well. Okay, so that's gonna be what my, that's the brush is way too big. Um, you know, that will be my scene, right? But before that, I'm gonna add a bit of shadow of the leaf because when you do that on the wet it will blend it all out a little bit you see what I mean when I go in right I'm gonna use a smaller brush now because I want to be a bit more precise okay um, that area is still very wet um, maybe I'll do it here like that just keep going that's still very wet, it's not working, but but it might. Let's do it. 
you just want like a rough shape for it to blend out still okay that dried in the middle yike I wanted that to blend out that's okay like that okay you can have a tree coming up the field or something I don't know but that's all I want it to be right now okay I'm gonna have to use my heat gun and then when you what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this step and we're gonna leave that to dry and then we can come back tomorrow and do the fine position so let me show you this one if you do the next step when your paint dry okay later on Okay, um, it's kind of dryish. That's good. That's just that's gonna sink in a little bit. So just do that, okay? When you're done with your your first layer of dryness, okay? And then tomorrow we'll come in and do our proper painting on top, okay? So that's done for today for that painting. Hi Emma, how are you? Wave, wave wave <laughs> I'm waving at everybody okay so let's put that aside so for you guys today once your first layer dried up add another layer of the um, the leaves like that okay a really rough and pale ones okay and tomorrow we're gonna add darker one um, on top okay good morning everyone right so leave that to dry and the next one I we're going to do I'm gonna have mine quite a tall tall oblong one like so and we're going to gradation from um, um, light oh no dark right dark to light okay so that's what we're going to go for on the piece of paper that we're going to be doing. And then we're going to add like cute little flims, you know, whimsical mountain. And then we're going to add little houses on top of the mountain. Okay. If that's what you want to do. Okay. Or you can go crazy with what you want to do. Okay. So you can have the moon here if you want to. Okay. And then we can add like a speckly things on top here okay guys that's what we are gonna be doing actually let's do it in a different way because it's gonna be dark at the bottom right these ones gonna be all dark so let's gradation from light to dark okay not too dark obviously and then the moon is here okay and then little houses like that it's gonna be cute and whimsical you can have country houses or whatever houses you want go for it okay so that's what we're gonna be doing on this piece of paper okay while we leave that piece to dry okay let's go um, I'm gonna use a little bit of sticky piece of paper hello lovely I miss you my booby friends right okay so yeah exactly it's whimsical so just go for it I think for this one I'm gonna use like a really really light blue I'm not gonna go as crazy okay so let's do it imaginary box I'm gonna paint on this side because maybe I might want to paint another one over there this would be a nice cute bookmark or a series of three actually 
could be a series of three um, painting of similar kind. So again, we don't want any water to be um, pooling around, okay? Just kind of wet the area to dampen it really, so it will take paint. If you have a bigger brush, go for it. Or like I said, if you have a um, kitchen sponge, cut a chunk of it and then you can wet the surface really quickly and you, you, you are more in control of the amount of water because that watercolor is like gosh um there's a sweet spot and then it's either too wet or too dry so it's all come with experience which i am by all means no expert i'm gonna go a little bit wider maybe half a page let's give me something to paint on Okay, so that's just imaginary water. <laughs> imaginary box. Okay, and then we're gonna go... Again, if you're not sure what color you're going for, just don't forget you can test it on a piece of paper, right? Always. I always reach for that color and it's like so stainy. Super, super stainy. <laughs> That's more like seawater. That's not right. Look. Maybe I'll add a little bit, not a lot, to it. I got it, I got it. I'm going to have it mixed with another blue. Okay, I'm going to go for that blue. Okay, so um, dark to light, work quick. You can have any color as well. It doesn't have to be blue, okay, guys? You can be... Um, it can be anything. Purple, brown, gray, monochrome, you know, go for it, okay? And what I'm going to do is, actually, I don't need to pin it down because I'm going to go crazy on this one. Let's go crazy. So let's do it upside down for the time being. I'm going to just gently keep adding the pigment to the top bit, well, which is going to be the bottom of our paint. And do that. Woo! Let it bleed out. Fun! Okay, let it bleed out. Okay. Like that. Okay, so that's going to be the top of our painting. And then you can mop it off. Okay, just let the pigment dance across your page. Gracefully. Okay, like that. And then you can leave that to dry, but I'm going to show you the second step as well, okay? So you can do this step and leave your paint to dry. And then um, later on the day, please do the second step. Be ready for tomorrow when we paint the details, okay? So I'm just going to dry this. I'm going to dry this quickly. Just a little bit and then I'm going to add a bit more pigment underneath just to add a bit more um, definition to, to our paint, okay? That's going to be the top of our painting, yeah? Or the bottom, I can't remember. <laughs> I forgot to put in the moon, but I think I'm going to put like white moon on this one, so I might use... um white paint later I'll have a think what I want because um, I might want that bit to be the bottom or the top I don't know I'll think about it okay I 
I'll think about it. So leave it to run down a little bit. Just that kind of exciting element where you're not in control of your work. <laughs> and why not? So you can add more pigment to it now, okay? So you keep building it up to the level of um, saturation that you like. If you still like wishy-washy, go for wishy-washy, okay? But I'm gonna just gently blend that out down a bit more. Like that, help it out a little bit with my wet brush. Okay, that's good. So we're gonna leave that to dry, okay? And hope for the best. <laughs> and then we can come back tomorrow. Actually, you can probably do layer two now on this one. Thank you, Jen. <laughs> I don't know. Guys, I want you to do the second layer now, actually. It works. It's working um, without having to wait until tomorrow. I thought we might have to wait until tomorrow. Jen, what are you up to, darling? Um, can you work from home at the moment with your sculpting and preparation? Um, I have nothing at the moment. But I'm going to take a day at a time. Okay, so how are you getting on? Can you tell me if you're getting on with your second layer of um, your paint here? I need to know what you guys are up to. Talk to me. Talk. Talk. This table used to be very nice until... I got my hands on them. It's too many. Um, I just want to paint the whole table, really, with, with, m anything. <laughs> Is it still wet, Serena? Um, Serena said she still hasn't done the leaves. Maybe we can leave that for tomorrow then. Because um, if you rush and adding um, the second layer, it might be um, too wet and melted in like what I did just now, you see. So, um, I'm quite happy with my um, nightscape on this one actually. It's really moody and I like it. That's okay, Joanne. Don't worry, you can always catch up too. Um, I'm really happy with this one. I want to paint that in a giant 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 size and put some salt on it and add more texture to it and just go for it you know what I mean <laughs> but I'm gonna be gentle with that paint now okay um my paint is kind of ready to go this one's ready to go actually so I'm gonna go for it okay do you like my funky music <laughs> it's called um, chill playlist or something hilarious like that okay so um, hi Kadja how are you um, so I'm just gonna start building up the layer okay if you can't follow along just watch it closely um, let me test it on a piece of paper first I'm always doing this ah, okay that's fine it's not too dark so uh, too dark. Okay, and then you just add leaves. Like so. Because if it is pale, then you can add another layers to it, okay? So, um, we I just saw that the other day. Um, I walked past and it's like a willow 
um, tree, and I thought, oh, that would might might be nice to pretend that it's um, you're looking out into a under if you're underneath the willow tree in the dark kind of thing. <laughs> Okay. Like that. Okay. So we're just doing kind of like weeping willow. We're underneath a big willow tree, okay? <laughs> And um, if you have like a darker background, you might have to go in with a stronger ink, okay? Like that, okay? Just add more. Leaves to your painting. And um, I think at this stage, it could be very therapeutic if you get this pattern of leaves um, going okay all right just like that so you can see that that shadow give you a bit of another layer of something there that's why we need that second layer okay or even if you have the third layer but you have to be careful not to go to um you know um i don't know if i want a tree coming up now I think I'm I'm just gonna paint um, all of my leaves coming down I'm underneath the tree guys and the tree trunk is behind my back <laughs> so um, the variation of your ink or your paint is you know just working for the benefit of your painting really, then you have a few, um, you know, depth of tone, different tones, okay? Like that. You can even go like, um, smaller brush if you like, okay? Sometimes if my brush has got a lot of um, ink in, I just go in with um, plain water. I just re-dip my, my bristle into plain water. Okay, like that. Okay, I will do a quick close up on my leaves. Thank you for asking Gwen. Right, I'll do a close-up quickly. Let me get a piece of paper. Okay. How do you do this? Oh, there. <laughs> Okay, right. Um, and I usually like my brush, um, my plant curvy, not just straight. You can do some straight as well, okay? And I'm just lying the page sideways now. Squash the brush down and lift. Squash the brush down and lift, okay? And when you squash, you travel sideways as well if you like, okay? It's the same as our bamboo. Press, you press, press and lift, press and lift. I'm gonna do sideway close up. Press and lift, see? Okay, once more. If you um, find that you need to turn your project around to help yourself, do it, okay? Press and lift. Press and lift, okay? I'm trying to paint, looking through the, the screen is impossible. 
like that. Once more. Press and lift. Press and lift. Okay. And um, if you do it, you can have a palm leaf if you do it longer. See? So you don't press it down too hard. You just use the pointy bit of your brush. Just go for it. The more you let go, the better because it looks natural. You see that, the dry drag, I like it because that gives you depth. Yeah? And... Um, or you can do a different type of um, leaves as well, which is coming out from the inside, working from the out to the in, so drag it in. So you get like a ferny type of leaves, okay? So different shapes of leaves, okay? All right? So drag in like that, okay? Drag in. That could be flower petal as well, guys, okay? All right? I hope that's helpful. <laughs> yeah, so um I think that's it guys for the um for this paint. Okay? And um while we're here, um that this paint will definitely need, need to leave it to dry. So I'm not touching that. I'll do that tomorrow. But I hope you can um I hope you enjoy this paint, okay? Um you can add more, you know, darker shade of paint as well if you want to but I don't want to now it looks looks look looking a bit busy okay right next we'll do a couple of cute cutie um, illustration kind of painting okay we I'm gonna try to put underneath my palette there okay and um, we're going to do Go for red, right? This kind of red. Okay. I'm just gonna add a few drops of water in my palette. You can leave this out forever if you want to, um, or you can cover it a little bit because it can get dusty. <laughs> okay, so. Have a test. Okay, that's way too dark. I think I uh, muddy it up somehow. Okay, not happy with that color. I think I contaminated with something. It's not bright red. I'm gonna clean it up. And start over. Okay, make sure my brush cleans really well. And reactivate my paint on the top there. That's better. These are just um, two watercolor. I squeeze them on the top of my palette and then just bring down what I need. Like that one, see? So I just bring down what I need down to the pool. Okay, that's good. And um, this one, we're gonna go for wishy-washy, okay? And let's paint a couple of um, wishy-washy triangle, okay? That's a lot of paint. So I'm just gonna bring it out. And then I'm going with clean water now. This is probably not a good paper to paint actually. It's just one of the... It dries really quickly so work it out quick. No, I'm not happy with this. Sorry, let's change it to another piece of paper. <laughs> Let's try this. Okay. Yeah, that's better. So just one dash of color on one side. Like so, okay? Wishy-washy is the best way to go. And then you can add more pigment where you want it to be, okay? And again. like a rounded triangle the top can be pointy 
like that. And this one I'm going to do half circle. Go in quickly before the line outline dried out. Okay. How are we doing? Okay, and it doesn't matter if you have some areas where it's mist paint. It's quite nice actually. I quite like the mist paintiness. Okay, and then we're going to go green. Whatever green you want. Um, again, have a piece of paper to test to see if that's the green you like. Okay, and um, let's go in. You don't want to touch it. Okay, today it's going to be like a cute illustration kind of thing so you don't want to touch it you don't want to touch the red okay we're not going for um, realistic looking okay and then this one as well I'm trying to squeeze my nose because um, I don't want to sneeze <laughs> it's terrible I hey, fever I hate it okay that's what it is and then i'm just gonna mop that up can you see i've got a little bit of red green bleeding into the red but actually you know what happy accidents sometimes work okay okay and then i'm gonna mix a bit of purple i'm gonna do a few blueberries because i like blueberries yummy yummy making like a purpley blue let's see if that works no that's grapey what can I add Maybe darker blue. Mm, 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 mm. Do you have your blueberry color? That's too blue. Help me! <laughs> got it, got it. I just need red. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. Okay, so wishy-washy again. Testing your paper, always testing. Okay, great. Now. Um, whoops. Yeah, watermelon. <laughs> I didn't say it. I thought I'll give you a surprise. I didn't say what we were painting. Okay, so we paint like a cute little oval shape okay and we're gonna leave mispainted like that and it doesn't have to be exactly circle or exactly anything okay and don't forget to leave some white like so okay so we'll use the white of the paper as our highlight okay so again um, leave certain area as miss paint okay don't paint the whole lot. i'm gonna paint five because that's three okay like so that's one of your five a day <laughs> okay like that and we'll leave that to dry or just leave it to settle a little bit and then you can come in and add a bit more pigment while the paint's still wet okay um, like that okay we'll leave that to dry 
What else can we paint? Um, nom, 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 nom. What's the time? Let's do an orange. Cutie. Just mixing my orange. I don't want it to be super wishy-washy, okay? Just just enough color. Yeah, that's all right. All right? So just go for orange. And um, we're gonna go for impressionism. <laughs> Um, orange, okay? So, um, just like that, okay? And leave it. Don't go in anymore, okay? And I'm just going with, with plain water now, okay? And just do that, all right? And that's done, okay? And um, I'm going to add a bit more orange pigment, like that. Okay, you can have your orange um, turn sideways or whatever, okay, but I accidentally do mine um, straight forward, which is annoying. I don't like it. I don't like straight forward too much, but you know what, doesn't matter, okay? And um, I'm just going to add a bit of plain water there, okay? And then I'm coming in with my green and that's way too, too wishy-washy, not the right green for me. Okay. Okay, and then on the blueberry, you can come in with a bit of darker blue and add certain, um, you know, where that holes are on top of the blueberries. I don't know what you call that bit. <laughs> and then you can go in with the pen um, for the watermelon seeds not quite dried. You have to wait for them to dry um, completely before you can add the pips, okay? You can add more color to it actually. It's quite wishy-washy. Too wishy-washy, so... I'm going to blend it out with water. Okay, like so. Okay. Just coming into my blueberries and add a few more pigment to it. And then you can add some cute pips. One, two, I don't know. Go and look at the real picture yourself. <laughs> Just do illustration. Just for fun, guys. Ah, that bit's not dried. Okay, <laughs> I made a boo-boo. Don't worry, we can fix it by gently mop it up. Maybe not. Okay, so there we have it today. We have 
painted our night scene underneath a willow tree <laughs> and um, tomorrow we're going to finish this um, it's not quite dry to, to be able to um, work on them yet so I don't know if I want to do night sky like that I think that might be the case that I'm gonna do yeah that's the top and that's the bottom and then I'm gonna draw how little houses along here so we can use black pen um, felt tip pen um, biro pen um, or even just go with watercolor so bring something tomorrow with you okay and um, if you have any white acrylic paint we can use that to add stars as well if you want to okay um, just sending you lots of love and have a beautiful day I think the Sun just started to come out and um, enjoy your day love you bye